that table. Can you just run us through the food that's in front of us right now? Right. Uh, we start with the meatballs mm -hmm. uh, sandwich. We actually mm -hmm. have uh, beef meatballs uh, yes. that is made in-house, fresh. Mm -hmm. um, Still in uh, tomato sauce, mm -hmm. yeah, for about like uh, an hour to make it like tender soft. Mm -hmm. um, then we bake it with uh, mozzarella cheese. Mm -hmm. This dish is um, very American. Mm -hmm. It's like comfort food. Mm -hmm. yes. You go to America, you, you get like hot dogs, mm -hmm. um, meatballs, and uh, yeah. yeah. This meatball, we are actually using a mix of uh, shrimp loin and mm -hmm. beef rum. Okay. Yeah. Um, there's no secret recipe. Mm -hmm. We just do a proper proportion yes. so that you know we get the flavors of the the, the cow, mm -hmm. the, 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 the beef, beef yeah, okay. from uh, the rum because mm -hmm. strip wine doesn't have a really strong taste. Yes. Yeah, but from the rum you get you get a strong flavor sound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have a proportion of it. Um, basic seasoning. There's mm -hmm. no there's no like um, artificial flavorings yeah. and not salt pepper. That's it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Is it possible like uh, if someone don't eat beef, like, can they ask for the other, other kind? Um, currently, we do only have uh, beef meatballs, oh, yeah. Okay. But if, let's say, they, they don't want to have, like, uh, meatballs, we yeah. can change it to, like, you know, grilled chicken or anything. Oh. Yeah. Okay, on to the next one. Okay, the next one is uh, actually eggs benedict mm -hmm. uh, with salmon. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, this dish is slightly different from the classic uh, mm -hmm. eggs benedict that we have. Uh, usually they use the um, English muffins, mm -hmm. yeah. But over here we do our own buttermilk toast. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So buttermilk toast, um, spread it with butter. Then yes. yeah, we send it to the oven. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just to heat it up. Then we have a layer of uh, sauteed spinach, mm -hmm. uh, grilled salmon, mm -hmm. and the poached eggs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Then yeah. Lastly, we just top it up with the hollandaise sauce. Mm. Yeah. It's almost like a mix of the Florentine as well and yes. also the Italian. Yes. That's nice. That's nice. And next we have uh, the okay. dessert. Yeah. Yep. This is the salted caramel brioche dough. Mm -hmm. uh, brioche is made in-house. Everything you see here is made in-house, mm -hmm. except for the berries. Okay. We don't plant yes. it. Yeah. <laughs> what, what, what is brioche dough? Brioche, brioche is a bread. Yeah. Yeah, I'll let you know. yeah, brioche is actually a French bread. Mm -hmm. uh, sweet. Heavy in butter yeah, and eggs? Yeah, in our butter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we made it fresh um, mm -hmm. daily. Yeah, mm -hmm. The loaves are daily fresh. Wow. Um, we coat it with... Uh, we actually soak it in, in the mix of mm. like a meal, eggs, um, nutmeg, yeah. uh, cinnamon, mm. we dip it in the mix. After that we pull it out, uh, we coat it with cornflakes. Mm. Then we pan fry with butter mm. instead of oil. So mm. we get all the flavors. Flavor. Yeah. This seems really, really good. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, actually one of the favorite uh, dish right. mm. yeah, of all among the diners. Okay. Yeah, so they, they actually like it because uh, also the sauce, um, most people think that oh, it's going to be sweet uh, mm. with bread ice cream, you know, right. it's, it's too heavy mm. for dessert. Mm. But no, because we serve this portion, yes. yep. they actually wanted more. Oh, okay. Yeah, we Great. actually changed the caramel sauce to like salted mm. caramel sauce. Yeah, then oh. with the flavors of the banana, the ice cream, mm. and you know, the toast itself. Okay. I'm just looking from the food here, um, it seems like it's a, like you said, when we, when we just met up just now, mm -hmm. it's a, it's an array of different foods that you all come together and, and put your heads together, and yourself as well. Mm -hmm. So you must be getting a lot of freedom to work here and, and, and try new things as well, right? Yes. Uh, over here, the um, owners, mm -hmm. they are actually quite uh, open to suggestion and uh, like any anything that uh, anyone suggests, mm -hmm. you know, um, they will say like, okay, let's let's do it. We, mm -hmm. we try it and we see mm -hmm. how is it. Yeah. So we, we like for example for food wise, I'll just do up a food tasting, you know, let them taste it. If it's okay, they will say like, okay, good, we're good to go. If not, mm -hmm. no, I don't like it. That's, that's one thing whereby I, I feel really happy working in Hugo. Yeah, because uh, with the owners, with uh, my colleagues, we are more like a family instead of like just, you know, being colleagues, bosses and, you know, subordinates. Yeah, so we, we kind of like uh, put our effort in yeah, and, you know, we make this place boom. Right then, so how are you feeling? Good? I can't stop eating now. <laughs> <laughs> so since we're done with the food now, mm -hmm. I think we'll move on to the drinks. Right. Mm -hmm. And I hear you have a really beautiful wild bar behind us, yeah. right? Yeah. And um, well stocked, well prepared, and, and it looks lovely. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll try the cocktails now. Right. Then you'll lead up with the cocktails next? Yeah, after I finish all this. Okay, sure. Mm -hmm. then. <laughs>